Trivia, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Gish. Its COVID-19 mission to explore strange new questions, to seek out new and old acquaintances, to boldly go where no Facebook live show has gone before. music trivia game. We're going to give out a prize for the winner. We're just going to wait and see if anybody joins us here. Today. Here we go. All right, first question, first person who chimes in with the right answer. This is a question about Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond, ladies and gentlemen. Neil Diamond question. All right. What was Neil Diamond's first top 10 single hit? One. If Tony Porter's got it. Cherry, cherry. That's one for Tony. This. All right. Neil Sadaka, Fran, you got the answer right. Neil, Fran, Flynn, ladies and gentlemen, has won the contest. Love you all. Thanks for stopping in. Until next time, eh, who knows, we'll do it later. Bye, everybody, and thanks, everybody, who uh, chimed in. Bye for now. A hundred trivia episodes, a hundred shows from Bob. He helps us deal with all of our strife. We, we hope you continue the rest of your life. We hope you continue the rest of your life. Do I? Bob Caro, congratulations, your 100th show. That's a wonderful number, 100. I'll give you Italian toast, Chen Don. That means may you live to be 100 years old, which is a good toast unless you happen to be 99. But you can do it, because I performed at all the Century Village theaters in Florida. The audiences are 100-year-old people and their parents. You don't put a glass of water down, you can back there's teeth in it. I did one show, there was a prostate convention right up front. It's hard to make people laugh when they can't pee. I did one show, there was a couple just got married. She was 85, he was 90. They spent their honeymoon getting out of the car. The groom tried to drink champagne out of the bride's slipper, almost choked to death on the corn blasters. The bridal registry was at CVS. Nine months later, they had a kid. The kid was born with a mustache. But Chen Don, I hope you list a hundred years and a thousand shows. Congratulations, Bob Carroll.
Drango Dale here. I just heard that Bob Carroll's show, that trivia show he does over there in that Facebook Live thing, has 100 straight shows in a row. That gives somebody a big congratulations. Nice job, Bob. I can't believe you did 100 shows. I, you can't believe somebody do 100 shows like that. That's just nuts. Hi, Bob. This is your pal, Dan Cagliano, and I'm just here with my friend, Jack Hulu, and uh, we're trying to figure out this fan, magic fan. It seems to be broken, and um, so we're trying to figure that out. No, my name's not Jack. Your name's not Jack. I've been calling you Jack all these years. Jack's my last name. Oh, Jack's your last name. Well, what's your first name? Clacker. Quack. Oh, so that means your name is... Quacker Jack. You yep, that's right. So I guess uh, you have a surprise inside here. <laughs> yep, I did. Now it's over there. Over there. Over there. Oh, oh. Oh, well. Clean up on aisle three. Um, we'll have to clean that up later. Anyway, um, we were trying to fix this fan, and uh, but I, but I wanted to just say that uh, I'm so happy that uh, I found uh, Trivia Time with Bob Carroll. Um, it's a great show. Actually, I started kind of like in the middle. I didn't know about the show until I heard about it on uh, one of the Magic uh, Facebook uh, forums. And um, so I've been having a great time watching the show. In fact, I've tried to get back to the show. Uh, I, I donated some tricks to for giveaways. I've done some artwork. And um, I've even uh, even bought your book. Got to find out more about you. This is, uh, I got this on Amazon, by the way, and it's uh, called The World's Most Famous Unknown Magician and Ventriloquist. So uh, I thought that was a great book, and I uh, got to know more about you, and I uh, hope to uh, see you in the future in other endeavors or more um, trivia shows. Um, I know 500 is a big uh, uh, milestone for you, and I'm so happy for you, uh, but I think we need to go back and figure out this fan. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do it. Um, I do. You you do? You. Oh. Well, how did you do that? Did you read the directions? Well, they were kind of uh, kind of vague. It said any bird brain could do it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're gonna have to teach me uh, how to do this. Uh, I guess I'll have to send this back. So. Uh, um, so will you teach me? Yep, I got a master class. A, a master class on, on fans? Yep. Two days. Two, two days. Okay, I guess I, I need to take your class. And the greets are reasonable. Okay. <laughs> All right, and you have a website? Yep. What's your website? Onlyfans.com. <laughs> well, I'm not even going to go there. But uh, anyway, Bob, thank you uh, from a big fan. Uh, and me, <laughs> and uh, uh, I wish you well, and uh, thank you so much for trivia time, and take care. See ya. Howdy y'all, this year's Mike. Down at Mike's Golf Shop, where we buy golf. That's right. We buy golf clubs. Mike's Golf Shop. Come on over here. We buy golf clubs. Over at Mike's Golf Shop. Come on down here. We buy golf clubs. That's right. We buy golf clubs. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give a nice round of applause to uh, our friend uh, who's been with us uh, right along, Mr. Terry Morgan, and he's going to perform card trick. Take it away, Terry.
a cautionary tale for our time. Two couples, Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. They've all been behaving. They have been wearing masks, they've been socially distancing, and they've been staying out of large crowds. Until one of them decides to reverse his behavior. Bob decides he's going to go out to the bar, and the bar he goes to is crowded, no one wears a mask, and no one socially distances. And without knowing it, he gets the COVID-19 virus. Now, he doesn't have any symptoms. He goes home to his wife, Carol. Now, Carol also becomes infected with the virus. So now we have Bob and Carol. And Carol hangs out with her friend, Ted. And now Ted becomes in infected, too. Ted, of course, goes home to his wife, Alice. And we all know what's going to happen. Alice is infected as well. So now we have four people that are infected because of the bad behavior of just one. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of Bob, Carol, Ted, and Alice. What is the moral of the story? Wear a mask. Socially distance. Don't go into large crowds, and this will not happen to you. Thank you. Hey Trivia Maniacs, uh, this is Steve Banning talking to you from the Midwest, the heartland, Peoria, Illinois, the capital of the flyover states, the cultural center of the universe. So the next time you're flying from coast to coast, don't forget to look down and give us a wave. Uh, remember, Peoria is a city that never sleeps. We're waiting for something to happen. I want to congratulate Bob, Carol, and Debbie on their 500th show. Uh, that's quite an amazing accomplishment and commitment to bringing us smiles and entertainment and making our days better during a trying time in the world. It's the best hour in the worst two years. Um, think how many laughs and head-scratching questions that was. Uh, and this isn't a joke. Uh, Bob's professionalism as a radio announcer uh, shines through to those of us who have worked in radio. Uh, there is never dead air. There is uh, always entertainment. Um, it uh, packs, uh, uh, packs uh, a flat and plays big, unlike my magic that uh, uh, packs big and plays flat. Um, uh, but during the, the past two years, the Trivia Maniacs have come up with their own line, uh, own uh, language, like uh, Trivia Maniacs Assemble, uh, hands on your buzzards uh, in a box, and one more time. Uh, so to Bob and Debbie, who have warmed the cockles of our hearts, and as Bob would say, who wants cold cockles? Uh, thank you for the laughs, the friends, the memories for 500 days. Uh, we love you, Bob and Debbie, from our computers to yours. Oh, hi. I'm just hanging out with my friends Rhyme and Reason. I keep them around in case anyone accuses me of having no rhyme or reason. They can do tricks. We place one in each hand and magically they hop and change places. Get it? They hop because they're bunnies.
Hmm. I'll show you again. Rhyme goes in one hand, reason goes in the other hand, this time in slow motion, one at a time. Rhyme hops away, joining reason over there. And let's give rhyme and reason a nice big hand. But they can do more tricks too. We place them both together into the same hand. And when we do that, something amazing. Oh, wait a second. Hmm? We're not supposed to place them in the same hand because when we do, watch what happens. They multiply <laughs> just <laughs> like rabbits. <laughs> or like episodes of Trivia Time with Bob Carroll. I'm telling you, those episodes are multiplying pretty soon. He'll be hitting that big time. Get it? Because Bob is a big deal. Okay, we'll save the jokes for Mrs. Cavendish. Congratulations, Bob. So excited to be part of Ted's, uh, not Ted, uh, uh, Jerry, no, uh, Miss Shushu, um, Captain Bird, Admiral Bird, Bob, it's Bob's, Bob's 20th thousand, uh, 2000, uh, 200, 200, that's right, is 200 show. I don't think I've done 200 shows in my life. Well, my life's not over, so I'm going to keep going. But Bob has. And I'm going to debut this on his 200 show. I just came up with this card effect, um, which you're going to be the first to see. And then it's going to be available at Magic Tricks. You can buy it from me, but you're seeing it on Bob's 200 show. Not 2000, right? Bob. Bob, right? Bob with, right, B-O-B, -B, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Show the card trick. I'll do the card trick. All right, this is easy to follow. We're using three cards, and two are the same, so that's real easy. There's a seven, there's an ace, there's another seven, but I give them a little magic twist. What happens is the ace turns right around. Amazing. I'm going to actually turn one of the sevens around, give them another one of those twists like this, and now I brought the ace back up, face up just like magic but really was it magic I'm gonna let you in on a little secret I said easy to follow three cards I lied there's four cards look at one two three and four and all this twisting and stuff like that was just to throw you off so in reality we were using one two three four cards and that's all you have to know. occasion I grew up some of my famous magic punch. Some magic punch to serve for everybody here this evening. I know there's some people though that can't have punch for whatever reason so we can always give them just a glass of water. But I myself and no other people really love my magic recipe for magic punch. And I'm so sure that I think people are probably going to want more punch than water, so let's do this and serve punch. I'm really 
really have to go. Some said they wanted, still wanted water, but now we have a little bit of a problem. But let's see what a little bit of abracadabra and hocus pocus. We can have a glass of water. Someone else says that they would like some water. So again, with a little bit of abracadabra and hocus pocus, a glass of water. But this is being a very special occasion and being the 400 show. Bob and Deb, congratulations for Trivia Times 400 show. Back in March of 2020, Trivia Times started. It started off really small. But every day, things got more and more interesting. A lot of new jingles and videos. And we made it to the 200 show. And Bob, with his ingenuity, kept on going. With more new things going on. And we worked up to our 300 show. But today we celebrate, we celebrate Bob and Deb's 400th trivia show. Congratulations, Bob and Deb. We've made it to the 400th show. Congratulations again, and happy trivia time to everyone out there in trivia land. everybody and especially hello to my friend congratulations to Bob Carroll on his 400th uh, trivia program trivia an idea that I gave him years ago in Gaslight Village I said Bob forget the ventriloquism Bob forget the magic and the jokes go with trivia there's a future in trivia and I think uh, this testifies to that statement that he has had 400 400 programs featuring Bob Carroll, the trivia master, and all the uh, trivialettes out there who watch him. Thank you and congratulations from me. Oh, by the way, I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Uncle Floyd. I'll be at the Elks Club next Saturday. No, good luck, Bob. Congratulations. 400 is quite a milestone in any book. This is George Burns. I just wanted to wish my good friend there, Bob Carroll, a happy 200th birthday. You know, that's quite an accomplishment. Huh? Oh, oh, it's not his birthday. Oh, it's 200 trivia shows. Well, that makes sense. Heck, I made it to 100 myself. That was quite an accomplishment. No, anyways, Bob, I wanted to wish you a happy 200th trivia show. And, uh, you know, a, a Gracie couldn't be here to wish you a happy 200th. You see, she's, she's in Florida. She was a grand marshal on a parade there. And, and, and I just talked to her a little while ago, and she said, George, I said, Gracie, how did they like you in the parade? She said, George, they loved it, especially the fox hat I wore in the parade. I said, Gracie, you wore a fox hat as a grand marshal in a parade? She says, yeah, George. You told me to do it. I said, I said, wait, wait, wait a minute, Gracie. I told you to wear the fox hat in the parade? When did I do that? She says, George, you know, we, we were sitting around a table in Beverly Hills the other day, and I told you I was going to be a grand marshal in a parade. And you said, where? And I said, Florida. And then you said, where in Florida? And I told you, I said, Punta Gorda, Florida. And then you said to me, Punta Gorda. Wear the fox hat. Anyways, Bob, you know, just congratulations on 200 trivia shows, and here's to 200 more.
there, all you trivomaniacs. <laughs> this is Don Nielsen saying hi to all of you. And I was trying to get my bench woke little figure out of his case, but he didn't seem to want to. He told me we had to keep up social distancing because he seemed to have a problem today. He said he had, I don't know what he called it. He said it was the Crayola virus. I found a mask outside of his case with a bunch of scribbling on it, so I don't know what that meant. So let's get rid of that thing. But I'm going to talk about CPE. That's Clown Protective Equipment. I don't know. Okay. So you have your face shield. Okay. You got to have your face shield. There you go. And you have to have your face masks. See? Face masks. You have to have all of your face masks. See? Face masks. Ooh, I don't know how this one got in there. Oh, it's scary. It's okay. You have to have all your face masks. Face masks. Oh, San Francisco. Yes, I know how I one got in there. Now, just in case you go in Walmart, you have to carry some of these with you. Just in case you get some unruly's. <laughs> and maybe some thumb cuffs. A few of you have some of these around, so you have to have some of those. And maybe just to lock up a few people, you have to have some change with you. <laughs> And of course, maybe a straight jacket or two, just for a few unruly. <laughs> so, I'm just saying hi to all of you fans and all the people that play the game, like Robert, Dan, uh, Bob, Patty, Nancy, Stephen, Clinton, Edward, Marlene, Latina, Terry, Pat, Michael, and a bunch of the others that I've forgotten. And remember, like Bob says at the end of the show, it's more important to be a doorman, but important doormen are shooting dice. No, wait a second, that's not right. <laughs> well, happy 400th show, Bob. But I have to remember, you got to dress up when you do a show like this. You have to dress up. So, have a good time, everybody. And I haven't had my uh, <laughs> snack today, so... We'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Joe Lantieri is to summons and welcome all trivia maniacs to come and go. We are glad that Bob is retired, yet cannot be without a day job. Congratulations to both Debbie and to Bob. We're happy that you are active with plenty to do. Many have asked what would be a day without trivia to honor you. All Bob's research is writing, shortening his pencil throughout the time. His sponsor, MagicTricks.com, has helped many say more than a dime. Eddie and Joe's dokes are told by Bob in the hat. And Michael Murth has additional thoughts about this or that. Paul Zook, Paul, Michelle Curry, and Rich Gilbert's dishes. Sometimes Darcy has shown up for her brother's good wishes. Robert Hale and Jill, Terry Morgan, Karen Gibson, all have stopped on many a session. Kathy McDermott, Dan Sclair, and Patty e come in as a team, always a mention. Jeffrey Allen, Misty Lee, Marlene and David, and of course Mrs. Cavendish, and better still, pizza salad is now a worldwide dish. Yet we are not upset that the points do not matter. Bob is generous even to those who answer the latter. It is truly amazing the fun in that hour, the relaxation and rejuvenation of power. Time spent with Bob is a blessing and a curse. Yes, one could practice a move, read a book, or rehearse. Yet we readily play definitions and words without a vowel, leaving many of us chuckling or letting out a howl. The aware is Jonas keeps us up with his comings and goings and more. The wet the hat keeps us wondering who is assisting at the door. Your concentration, definitions, your laughter, and your charm reminding us to mask up, wash our hands, and yet sneeze into our arm. On behalf of all the trivia maniacs, come on and come all, we have been summoned with our buzzers on call. We have laughed and we have solved puzzles of faces. Bob has filled many of at least 400 of those one-hour spaces. But still many choose to break up their day with BCN Network and let Bob have a say. It is the love in his heart and his smile that stays with you after. Thank you and Debbie, who then watched the shows later with laughter. Tis nice to be important, more important to be nice. Though it's true at the end of every show, you dance, you sing one more time. Stopping would not be a crime. The previous refers to a wonderful Bob Carroll, for it is in his story he receives much praise for a man who has much goodness and kindness, and any time with him is spent with truly magic. And we say, of course, thank you, Bob. Congratulations. From the home office in Burbank, California, the top 10 rejected trivia show games. Number 10. Are you smarter than a politician? Exactly. <laughs> Number nine, sexy or creepy? Number eight, do you trust your mailman? Number seven, the wheel of diseases. Number six, killer cereals? or serial killers. <laughs> Number five. What's in my shorts? <laughs> Number four. Would you eat that? <laughs> Number three. Pin the tail on Bob Eubanks. Number two, amnesia, or just plain drunk. And the number one, top ten rejected trivia show game. A game about body parts called, You Got Some Spleenin' To Do. Uh, we're going to do a commercial, folks. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned for more right after this. This portion of the show is being brought to you by Ed's Nudist Colony and Swap Meat, where not only can you take your clothes off, but you can sell them too. To get to Ed's Nudist Colony and Swap Meat, just follow the signs until you see a whole bunch of naked people standing around bickering over prices. Congratulations on show number 300. It's been great getting to know you this past year, as well as all the trivia maniacs that join us every day. Today, I thought that I would part the curtain a little bit on my magic background and tell you a little story about one of my all-time magic heroes. You see, in 1974, Doug Henning was arguably the most famous magician in the world. While in 1974, I was a chubby teenager in South Dakota who was not playing with a full trick deck. In 1974, Doug starred in the magic show on Broadway and was surrounded nightly by beautiful exotic women. In 1974, I played Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. In 1974, Doug Henning was on every major talk show on television. I believe he was on the, the Tonight Show several times. And one night I saw him on the Tonight Show, he took an assistant, stuck that assistant into a box, like so. And then after doing a jaunty little dance, as Doug was known to do, he took that assistant's middle and pulled it off to the side. Then another little jaunty dance later, he took that assistant's middle, shoved it back inside, and pulled out the assistant completely restored. And finally, after all these years in magic, I still don't have any idea how he did it. Congratulations, Bob. from the American Museum of Magic in Marshall, Michigan. Bob, 500 episodes? Wow, that's about half as many as Dark Shadows. magic for us in a minute, but right before, I'd like to know, how long have you been doing magic, Michael? Since I was five years old. Really? I totally wasted the first five years of my life. <laughs> my folks wanted to be, be a doctor and thought I was going to until I was five. That's what I wanted to be. And then I discovered magic, and they were so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> would you mind telling me a little bit about your magic? How would you describe it to the people at home? Sounds good. Yeah, well, I like to do a close-up sleight of hand. There's not a lot of opportunities to do that, except maybe at the Magic Castle in Hollywood. So when I do a stand-up show, I do comedy mind reading. So I seem to be able to read minds, but it never really works. And that's what you'll see from me on stage tonight. Oh, awesome. That is great. Now, do you have something you could show us here today? I do. Oh, great. Yes. Well, let's go right into it then. We had these three selected uh, just beforehand off camera, and somebody signed this when they, they put the word me okay. on the first one, on our six of diamonds. So I'm going to add them to the deck. I'll put these in different places, and each of the people who have take, taken these have taken something from me. If you want ransom, I don't have any money. But I do have a particular set of skills. <laughs> saw that in a movie. I thought it was a badass thing to say. Did like I did. I did right. like it. That was great. Well, the cards are <laughs> imprisoned, as it were. Would you just add one finger or a thumb to the back of the cards and we'll balance them like this? You got It'll it. It'll be my job to help them escape, one by one, to escape from the confines of the deck. So let's make that happen. Here's our first one. This is the one that someone signed. You can see it says me on it. The very same card we had. Check the, that. Uh, that is this great. One, the queen represents my ex-wife, my first wife. She died eating poison mushrooms. 
Sadly, my second wife died the same way. My third wife died of a fractured skull because I couldn't get her to eat the mushrooms. <laughs> Here's our next card, the Queen of Hearts. Now go down. Come up again. See, she never listened to me while we were together. Now she has to, night after night. She does exactly what I told her to do. Now this was the one that you selected, I think, and you're in danger until I can get it out. Michael, would you be willing to hold on to just the flap? You got Let it. Let everything else hang. Get it up off the table. Right there, just like that? So it's suspended in the air, and I'll stay back from it, because it's more exciting <laughs> when it comes right up out of the box while it's in your hand. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Michael, for sharing that with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And that's Las Vegas, where magic happens. You know, those really were golden years. And working with Letterman, I mean, he was incredible. Loved to do stupid human tricks. And of course, Paul and the band were incredible. And what? No, tell him about Letterman. He told me that, oh, it's not Dave? Well, who? Bob? Carol? I never heard of him. Seriously, Bob, it's been a lot of fun putting together all these crazy little things for you the last couple of years, but I know that things change, and it's time to become the TikTok king. Best of luck, my friend.
Well, I can clearly see how you made it to 400 shows because everyone loves trivia time. Thank you, Bob and Deb, for all of your hard work. So Jill and I are here uh, to celebrate Bob's 500th show. What an incredible achievement, huh? I've enjoyed every moment of it. That's great. Uh, yeah, we enjoy watching it before dinner, after dinner, during dinner. With a glass of wine. Exactly. Um, and Jill has her favorite segments. I have my favorite segments. She likes um, word puzzles the best. Yeah, I do. She doesn't like definitions, though. Uh, so I thought we would do a little magic in honor of Bob's 500th show. Okay. So uh, I'm going to hang on to this one. Remember that. We'll get All to right. it later. And then if you'll hang on to these other handkerchiefs. We've got all the colors of the rainbow here because that's how Bob's show is. It covers everything. So, uh, perfect. Now, what we're going to do is um, ask, uh, I have some trivia questions. Oh, no. Yeah, and the answers are the colors. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> like, what color is the new black? It's Blue. also a juice. Orange. Orange. Orange is the new black. And uh, how are we going to feel when trivia time is no more? Oh, that I know. Blue. Exactly. Blue. And how are we going to feel when Bob has all this free time now that he's not doing oh, trivia time? Green with envy. Green with envy is exactly right. Except Deb will probably come up with some projects for him now that he has all this free time. Um, and you know what? When, whenever Bob comes on the show, the first thing he says is... What? Yellow! <laughs> <laughs> and why does Bob throw away the paper after all the questions have been done? So he remembers which ones he did. No, because they've all been read. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the most regal color? Purple. Purple, because that is for Bob Carroll, the king of trivia. Okay. Right? Well done. Now, Bob, you know that you've, you've uh, had this show for over two years now, and uh, it's just incredible. And it's not just trivia questions. It's all of the things that go into it that surround the trivia questions, the intros, the outros. The, the great outlet of creativity for you and for lots of your friends. We got Mrs. C, Ed's jokes, where's Jonas? Um, it just goes on and on. And we all have our favorite segments, but we have our favorite songs that goes with those segments. And uh, you help us poke fun at ourselves because you do a great job doing it for you too. Uh, and Deb, thank you for all the time that you've given up with Bob to help us out. You know, it's uh, sound effects to what the hex. We love the whole show. <laughs> um, and you know, it's more than just an hour's entertainment as it started out. Now, we have friends across the country, some of whom we met, some of whom we may never meet, but we have a connection there. So you've built not just um, an hour of fun, you've built a community across the country. So thanks for that. Well, there was one more handkerchief we had. Um, the one in your pocket. Oh yeah, that's the one I had because Bob's show is on fire. Uh, well done. It's the hottest hour on Facebook. And uh, can you remember what the first handkerchief was to go in? Uh, orange. Mm -hmm. How about the last one? It was regal, purple. If I would just pull one out, oh no, see, there's one orange. that was red, or, or maybe orange, it looks red to me. And this, this one looks like orange down here to me. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. No, they both look kind of the same. Wait a second. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Can we hang on to that? Pull this all the way through. I tell you, let go of your end. We'll pull this all the way through. Bob, you see, it really comes to fruition. You have built a huge 
uh, incredible community, a great program. It all hangs together. And uh, see, nothing left the inside. See, Joe? Mm -hmm. Except we know that 500 shows is magic. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Watching what the heck? Oh, I'm just going over my notes. I'm not really doing anything. I'm matching my socks. Population. I'm watching Trivia Time with Bob Carroll reruns. Was it? I'm taking a shower. What do you need? I'm trying to figure out which outfit to wear. I'm in Arizona. I'm looking for Waldo. Hmm? Oh, I'm hydrating. Oh, hi. I'm just doing some voiceovers. Oh, hi. I'm just tooting the ukulele. I'm wondering where my umbrella is. I'm just taking a nap. Is it trivia time already? I'm taking a break from cooking. I'm trying to sit on the couch. Oh! Excuse me. I had a frog in my throat. I'm washing the dishes. Oh, hi. I'm just playing some cards. I'm getting ready to go on a hike. I'm counting my blessings. Oh, hi. I'm just making a shopping list. I'm learning how to cook the Rich Gilbert way. Oh, hi. I'm just de-stressing. I'm making popcorn. I'm checking the mail. I'm watering the plant. I'm just learning a few new jokes. I'm reading my memoir. I'm just hanging out with my friend Manny. Hello and welcome to episode one of the all new format of Trivia Time with your old pal Jonas. I'm in the bathroom, what do you need? Jonas So this is my tribute to seniors everywhere. We have a little uh, senior rap music, please. Check this out. <laughs> it goes a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> gonna read this in a moment. <laughs> My name is Bob and I'm over the hill. I don't smoke weed, all I take is pills. <laughs> I'm really old, I am a geezer. Just like the band, just call me Weezer. <laughs> I'm losing my hair, my teeth will fall out. I have bad knees and I think I have gout. Roll-Aids, X-Lax, 
Simodium D. Pills for me to go, pills for me to pee. <laughs> My bowels work great every morning at 7. The only problem is I don't wake up till 11. <laughs> All the ladies want to know if it's boxers or briefs. All I can say is depends. <laughs> I used to chase girls. I was a smooth talker. Now all my chicks are in wheelchairs and walkers. <laughs> My wife and I were really great lovers. Now in bed, we just fight about the covers. <laughs> they would ship. <laughs> our love life was never, ever boring. Our only contact now is when she hits me when I'm snoring. <laughs> we had our honeymoon at Niagara. Now I have to use Viagra. A four-hour erection. They say it's a curse. They say see a doctor. I'd rather see the nurse. <laughs> A four-hour erection, what's wrong with that? It's another great place to hang my hat. <laughs> As for sex, I don't give a damn. I get more than enough at my prostate exam. <laughs> well, it's time for me to go, but I won't get far, because I can't remember where I parked my car. The senior rap, ladies and gentlemen. I've been studying positive psychology for over 12 years. And in my research, I've discovered that the most positive and most happiest people are those who are resilient. People who are able to face and overcome challenges. And the most resilient people of all are those who have meaningful relationships with others. Hi, I'm Jonas Kane, star of Where in the World is Jonas Kane, And I'm here today to talk to you about Trivia Time with Bob Carroll. Specifically, what Trivia Time with Bob Carroll has done for tens of people all over the United States. People just like you and me. Bob has created a platform to bring people together, to laugh and to smile even while being apart. We may have come for the useless trivia, but we certainly didn't stay for the points because the points don't matter. But we stayed because of Bob, because of Debbie, because of Mrs. Cavendish, Michael Mirth's Two Cents Worth, uh, Lillian Gish, Bob Eubanks, and all the other cast of characters that have graced the stage and with all these inside jokes for 500 episodes. I know for me that in over the past two years that this show has been on, what I'm walking away with and what I most gained from it it's those relationships that have helped you and me to be, to be more resilient, to face the challenges that we've faced over these past two years. It, there's a lot of truth to this idea that the most resilient people of all are those who have meaningful relationships. And those who have meaningful relationships, those are the happiest and most positive people of all. And for that, I'd like to raise a mug to Bob Carroll. Thank you for all that you do, for certainly for all that you are. Here's to you, Bob. See you in the funny papers. Well, hello, Bob. Carol, a little bird told us that a very special occasion in your life is going on right now. It's your 400th <laughs> show on Facebook Live. Oh my gosh, I tell you what, we wanted to be a very, very small part of your very, very big day. I'm Dale, <laughs> she's Paula, you know us both. We're from Las Vegas Inside and Out. We can barely get through one video a week. You're doing 400 shows. This is ridiculous. You win the prize, buddy, for <laughs> longevity and stick with itness. <laughs> Honest to goodness, I can't even believe you did 400 shows. It absolutely blows me away. I'll tell you what, though, we got a friend of ours that wants to say hi to you as well, and we're going to bring him in here right now. Bob Kier. 
I just heard that you got something special going on today. 400 shows on the World Wide Web. Do you realize that that's almost everybody everywhere in the whole entire world gets to see you 400 times? I can't even believe it. And I'll tell you what, it's time to celebrate. And you know how I'm going to celebrate? Ah, I'm going to go get me a piece of pie. Nice job, Bob. You did a good job. All right. <laughs>
a big surprise to me. Hey, the door's locked. What? Hello. <laughs> she locked Bobby? herself out. Oh, can you let me in? I got the pie. All right. All right, I'm going to go let her in. All right? I'll, I'll be right back. All right, Mrs. C, just right. well, sit down. Before you bring in the pie, yeah. Mrs. C, let me sit down. Okay. Because I want to okay. get on my nice... My nice reward, Mrs. Cavendish. There my we microphone go. All set. Hi, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you already waved. Yes. Yeah. All right, what'd you bring me? Let me see. Banana cream pie. Oh, my God. Is that banana cream pie? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. That is so beautiful. Took me an hour to make it. You made this yourself? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Unbelievable. Let me just... Oh, let me... Oh, it smells delicious. And I really can't wait to eat the whole thing. In fact, I like the whole pie now, if you don't mind. Now? Could I have the whole pie? This would be you great. Want it? Give me the pie. We come on, give me the pie. All right. There you go. You asked for it. You deserve it. Thanks, Mrs. C. You're welcome. <laughs> Mrs. Cavendish, ladies and gentlemen. Happy retirement. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks, Mrs. Cavendish. <laughs> <laughs>